Good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning, ladies. Just getting the cows in. It's just gone, uh, just gone half past five, so yeah, not too bad. On time. And the girls will be in the cow shed in about 20 minutes. 10 to, uh, 10 to 6, hopefully. Yeah, good. Good to get that contract cow all uh, AB'd yesterday. She's got a different bull in her, one that Dad doesn't uh, Dad didn't know about, apparently. Hi, Dad. Hi. Got this cow here. She's a bit of a nuisance at times, this one. She's a bossy cow, so she gets in front of everyone and then um, what'll happen is she'll uh, turn the cows around if she's uh, at the front and she wants their meal, so. Hey, 201. Jamie, stay there. Yeah, she's sorting out the meal up there. Push her out. Come on. Yeah, she'll go back around. Yeah. Jamie! Jamie! Silly cow. Off you go. Come on, back that way. Back that way. Good girl. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to Milken. Milken's going well and uh, the throw just coming. Hey, how are you, old girl? Oh, I got your meal. Happy as. Another successful milking all washed up, and we're off to uh, I'm off to go feed some carvings. Yeah, it's just gonna go lock the cows away, and we are ready to go and uh, just about ready to go up to Granite's just maybe. But we'll just go and uh, feed them their milk and give them some meal. These calves, very strange. Yesterday, they ate a whole bag had to fill up the whole lot, so and then today. Last 24 hours, I haven't eaten a whole bag, so I've only probably eaten half. Just leave that in there, freshen it up tomorrow. Got the bag, left it in there, and these calves are happy. Look at that. So the ones on the, the tent have been cut down from two to one. Uh, from two buckets to one bucket. These fellas are still having one whole bucket. Hey, push your kiss. One bucket now. But hey, you're eating more meal, eating more grass, so. But it is still, it's not a bucket of whole milk. It's actually, um, so it's not a bucket of whole milk. It's a bucket of washing, so. The last of the uh, milk that was going through the line and a bit of water to top it up to the uh, correct amount. Still finishing off. The bucket's on the bike. Like that. I'll see you all up at Grandad's. I'll give these buckets a bit of a wash this morning. Good suckies. Let's go do some AB. Yeah. Yeah. See Dad today. They seem to have been acting quite nicely over the last few days. And Vince is definitely helping. Good job, he said. It's a good idea, he said. There it is. <laughs> yep, they're all going to that gate, silly animals. We want them to go to that gate. Uh, yep, we'll take them that way slowly. <laughs> you see, green paint, and then green paint. Let's see if we can find any bully ones today. Come on. Bully one there. Looking pretty quiet, actually, today. Come on. Hush, hush. Oh, heading for the gate. That's a good sign. Come on, hush. Hush, hush. Looking pretty quiet today. Pick it up the standards. The ones he can find. Come on, hop. Hush, hush. Dad's just going to wind up the reel and uh, we'll leave it there. 
paddock. And, um, let's go and take these girls out. They're pretty easy to get out tonight, uh, this morning. I can't see many, aren't you? This one here is, looks like she's just coming on. Starting to get a bit of rubbing up the top there. And uh, it's very quiet today. Very quiet. We had to slow down sooner or later. we still got uh, about 10 days up here because we started on the 4th. We do 18 days. So 18, 4, 22. That is the 13th, 14th today? I can't remember. <laughs> so we only do 18 days of AB up here. 22 down on the farm. So it lines it up perfect. They both stop on the same day. Munch. Bondies up the hill. Oh, two. To the Bondies. Hey, I got a hell of a job. Yeah, she got to start. Two out of the six go up the hill. Up the hill. Go. That one there we want. Okay, we'll do. Stay with that one. Stay with that one. Go. Stay with that one. Everyone's been in their stations. Yeah, that's good. Right. So far, so good. That's good. Let's get sorted. Home to have a whiskey, is it? Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Yeah, they actually paint it. Bondi! Catch. Come on. No. And it's on the station. <laughs> Up the hill. Come on, come down. Good girl. Yeah. Bondi coming, grab that Bondi coming. Come on. Bondi. Two Bondi. That's it. That's it for the Bondies. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Up we go. Five. It's perfect. How many totals today, Dad? There's a few of them. <laughs> Alright, you'll be right, Granddad. Yeah. I'm gonna go take these up the hill. Yeah. Well, these ones here. Well, those ones are Girls, ready for your next paddock. Just a little bit of grass in there, but they wouldn't have done another day. Sorry, girls and boys. Two boys in there. So take them through this gate. Come on girls, in you go. <laughs> As you'll see that um, Bondi's cattle, or Bond's cattle there. Little chips out of the air, makes it easier to identify as well. It's an old way that they used to tag cows before they tagged them. Got one pulling over there. One of the Bonds. Yeah, one of the Bonds. Bolts. Your boy's already gone through. Come on, girls. Come on. They'll come through. We'll go down and check the paddock, check the uh, drain, and check the water trough to make sure it's not overflowing. And uh, we'll go get those others. They haven't made their way up the hill yet. Come on. See how much easier it is to identify the green and the blue? Much easier. All right, come on. Good off's good. We're just going down here to check the fence. And then, uh, the fence is good. A little stand there, that's fine. It's only a lease block. So, um, yeah, he's going to check this bottom fence to make sure it's not shorting out. 
and then we'll climb back up the hill and go get those heifers that uh, were pulling yesterday. I can hear a peacock. He's in the uh, scrub over there. Nine milk machines here, they're doing the machine test. And we got 90% car pellets here. We gotta feed some little carvies down in the swamp, set up a paddock for two nights, and then um, yeah, see what happens with this rain to come in. Found the real dad is hidden in the long grass. They get eaten up by cars. Yeah, it just falls through. But lucky we knew where it was, or else if we didn't, that would have been it. Gonna cut this paddock into how many days, Dad? Two. two days. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's the thing. We've never been out here in October. It's usually done for silage in November or December. Just have to go out here. Or it's usually eaten off by the calves. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to come out here. We're just running low on grass. It's all part of it. Let's go set up this reel. So, Dad runs out the reel and I put the standards in. This way to do it. Just passing halfway. So, this side's got heaps of grass. 
this side's not as much grass, so we put the reel more onto the left hand side of the uh, paddock here. Alright, Dad yeah. set up the reel, she's electrified. So we're gonna, uh, half, I'll just put it over there. yeah, so put, we switch the reel over when we're uh, onto the next one, on the next half of the paddock, but as yeah, so for now, this side tomorrow, yep. or tonight, tomorrow day, another side the next day, just for this wet weather. Grass, yep, and it'll come back Very well. Good. Yep, as Dan always says, grass grows grass, whatever they leave behind will make into silage. If we need if we, uh, or else we'll be back in there pretty quick. I'm gonna leave the reel. All right, now that we've done the uh, big reel, I'm gonna go down, we're gonna cut uh, our big paddock that we have just wound up the wire in. We're gonna go cut that in half. That's gonna be two nights. And then we're going to um, go and take the girls, the bull and the cows are on the stock bank and take them further down so that uh, when the cows go past them tomorrow, they're not actually up against that fence and the bull's more likely to jump that fence and they can see some nice pulling cows on the other side. So we'll get that sorted. There's some good grass here, it's just that if, we, if we've had some sunshine, we'd actually get some, the grass to be ready. As you see, it's quite a light green. So what you want is a nice deep dark green grass that's full of that real good stuff. So this is our big paddock here on the right here, starts here and goes down and takes over the next paddock. What we're going to do is we're going to run a reel straight down the middle of those two paddocks where the wire used to be. And um, that's where they're going to go tonight, the back one, and in the morning, the front one. So, yeah, that's how we're setting it up. Just run it down now, I guess those posts as, uh, um, as standards. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't have to use any standards, but... A lot of the posts are actually missing their insulators, so I had to put some standards in. And um, even at the end there, it was a bit short, a bit low. And when I was going along these posts, the ones that had the uh, pin lock insulators, I went along and took all the pins out. Because when you're doing a fence, the pins, see there, that one there, are usually the first to go in. Uh, yes, sir. First to go when a cow goes through it or when you try to do something you lose them so yeah there's a couple there like this next one here that's got its insulator on it and not a pin lock so yeah but the rest of them from here on are all standards so they get this half tonight and then this half tomorrow night leave this paddock set up so all i have to do is um wind up the tape and put the gate up for tomorrow they're going in here tonight and here tomorrow night there we go that's the standard all set up and real done Just real set up sorry and standards out of the way so yeah i had two posts with uh insulators on them that i could use and the rest has just had to be all standards right with that let's go and uh, shift these ones on the stock bank and we'll go to grab some more thistles. Little buggers around the place, they're growing. It's weird, the thistles aren't really growing on the peat. They're growing more on the uh, clay at the moment. Flat neck is on the clay. Bugs are all on the peat. Just carry overs with their big bull here. They just carry them through, push them through the end of the race, the uh, end part here, basically up to the bridge, and put this reel of standards across. And um, come on, and get them that side, give them that side. Come on, come on big boy. Push, push, come on. Then they can have that side. Saves the bull if he does. So he doesn't even try to get him with the cows. The cows are going out in the swamp here. Come on, quiet, docile bull this time. And he's got his girls here. Going up to um, going in with the cows, one two year old and one yearling. So together, 
standard up, real standards, and we'll catch up some thistles. Yeah, they've got the water trough and the entire stock bank all the way down. This is about halfway down Willow Lane here. Uh, down back lane here about halfway through the farm so they've got all the paddocks down that way oh, along the side of the stock bank obviously down that way and here's our standard and reel that'll stop them jumping over he won't even try to get through that now that he's got his ladies there but if he was down there when the cows are passing through i mean he's gonna give it a crack <laughs> all right with that let's go chip some thistles there's a few to chop, uh, chip on the clay up there, so better go grab the grubber. I've been looking at this thistle every morning. Let's drive past the cow shed. Coming back. Let's look at him. There's a big one. Got him. He's about as tall as this. Thick root system, a thick root system and a thick, look at that, thick branches. This is the grubber here. Feel the grubber job. Good size, that was one of the branches. Keep going, find some more thistles. Chip them. We'll go to the uh, digger paddock next, and we'll come back into this. I'll just one. keep walking around chipping thistles. Two big ones here again. Another good size one there, but not as big as these two. Well, that, I'll keep walking. Just a couple of thistles thistle. down this line here. You see them here in amongst the hedge there. Okay. I'll just chip away at those. By the time I get down to there and just walk around the rest of this paddock, it'll be. Uh, Time to go home for breakfast. With that, I'll see you all at milking tonight. I did the other paddock. I only had about 15 thistles to chip, so not too bad. Most of them were only about this size here, about the size of your boot. There was about four or five about that size there. So, nice good size. Right, with that, I'll see you all at milking tonight. The size of this one. He's uh, right up in line with me neck. That makes him quite tall. Won't take me long to bash him out. Just working my way along. See you all at milking tonight. Good afternoon, everybody. So, we have had some nice sunshine today. It has been a good day. Uh, just need a bit more sunshine to be nice. But hey, we'll take it. Uh, at least it hasn't started raining yet. It is meant to start tonight. But uh, most of us will be coming through tomorrow night. Uh, the girls are on their way. We've just finished washing the vat. We said today 6,133 litres. So not too bad. Pretty happy with that actually. Um, not expecting them to stay up for much longer. But uh, we'll be what it will be. Let's get well again tonight. Oh, my 42. Follow the conga in there. Come on. Good girl. Hey, Dallas. Good girl. Who's next? And slow coach. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So, eh? Ford or Navy? There's another one of Dad's favourite cows. Beauty. Great product. We'll find out what she does production wise, but really good, nice natured cow. 95ers, that one. Milking well. Good girl. I'm pretty sure she milks well. That'll be interesting. She's not bullying, she's just uh, had a few cows try and jump on her and it hasn't worked out. Hasn't stood so. See, they're all starting to fade a bit. That's all right. My way to tell if they're not pulling is you look at their pin bones here, these little hip bones. See, still got a scab on it. Even though they're faded there, they're still not being ridden. And even if they're quite hairy, you'll see quite a lot of hair up here and around here. That's a sign that she's not been ridden. She probably had a small cycle, but not twice. Come on, girls, up we go. Come on. Oh, one again. And then you can here. Compare. You'll see, rubbed clean, not much hair left on there. And um, rubbed off. And they'll even have some flobber on the shoulders and pin bones there too. Rubbed no skin, no, um, no 
hair on them. I sometimes uh, won't have any skin either. What was that? Just keep milking. Oh, girls. I'm milking very oh, off you go. And uh, it doesn't happen very often, but mother and daughter side by side. Come on, number nine. That's your mummy, by the way. That's your mummy. <laughs> well, girls, up we go. Come on. Hey, Jamie. Jamie. Hey, Jamie, Jamie. Hey. Jamie, Jamie. Come on, girls. Betty Bop. Hey, Betty Bop. Girl blue. God. Old girl. Friendly ones in this row. Penguin. <laughs> Some friendly ones around in this row. Waiting on number 12. Not you, girl. You can head off. That one there. Come on. Come on. Ah. No, come on. Well, fine. Go out there. 12. Follow. Ah. All right. Close the gate. No. Go sort out that here for that one in there. You're 42. 105 last? Yep. Hey, it's one of the Soul Sisters. Afternoon, yep. 10 bulling cows today. Better than nothing. Time to wash up. And then Dad's going to rewash the uh, pit anyways. Just, uh, I better go get some moose. Bring them in and get some nice carvies put in them. Another 10 today. We've had some good days recently. We aim for about nine a day on average. So this is starting to bring our average back up again. So about 103. Yeah, I had about six years to do it. Right. 103 in 13 days. So that'll help our average up a bit. We're not too worried. Good girls. Come on. Wrong way. Done. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Beauty. Then let's take these cups off and we'll go and uh, feed out a bar of silage tonight. Not too much meal left behind. Those first ones will clean it up in the morning. Yeah, it's just going to go start the irrigator up. And um, yeah, we're headed down. Going to go and uh, feed out a bar of silage. We're not rushed too much. The girls are just passing the halfway mark down there. Girls got the silage with that. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.